sun has melted the frost and it's time to get out of the Loft Mountain campground and get on the road and head for our destination. Although it's nice and sunny, don't let that fool you. It's only about 4 degrees Celsius. It's a cool one. So today I'm going to be going down from Loft Mountain down to uh, the uh, Lake June Aluska Conference Center, the campgrounds there. And I'm going to meet up with people for the Blue Ridge Gathering. Now, I'm going to speed up most of this footage to about three times its normal speed just uh, just to cover more things I'm trying to get down off the mountain fairly fairly quickly and uh, I still really enjoyed this first first part here on the uh, on the skyline drive and then a little bit into uh, the Blue Ridge Parkway itself before getting down in the, the valley and getting on the interstate Anyone who's been through this area really knows just how beautiful this is and what a nice ride it is. And anyone who has not been here, well, I hope this is just enough to whet your, your appetite to go down and, and take a look. Oops. Photo op, but I really do want to get that sign in the photo. There we go. That's a little bit better. And we're not even going to pull out the the DSLR we're just going to use the uh, use the phone it doesn't do a, a bad shot but I just really do like the DSLR a little bit better here we go and then we're back out on the road so today is really just about making some time One thing I learned last night was that yes, I do have enough gear and proper gear to keep myself warm and comfortable down to at least zero degrees Celsius or uh, freezing. Uh, one thing I've noticed that I really want to do in the Minimate though is is either add some some way of hanging my jacket and pants up in the Minimate or in the Adder Room just because it makes a makes more sense storage wise and and getting stuff ready for the next morning those are just some of the thoughts going through my head as I'm traveling along and uh, at some point here my battery goes dead and I do get down the valley so it's time to grab something to eat get gassed up and then we are just going to be hitting interstate and interstate and interstate just about all the way down for the next five hours of the trip I'm going to rely very very much on my GPS now I'm very much a map person but uh, 
I didn't have any maps with me. I picked up a few at some of the uh, stops, but for the most part, I had to rely on the GPS, and sometimes I didn't feel so good about doing that. Uh, I wasn't totally sure it was actually taking me in the right dis direction, and I should have trusted it more, but I was always trying to second guess it. And it didn't help that for a good bit of the trip, I was riding into the sun, so heading south and riding into the sun, and uh, uh, well, it's just really hard to see the screen, so a lot of times I could not see the details of the screen although I could see it pointing when it was uh, telling me that I needed to be in another lane or to uh, take an exit ramp. Uh, one thing that happened a few times on the trip was I took an exit ramp either too early or too late because I came up on them just too quickly and really couldn't tell uh, with my arrows. Now this is an old TomTom Tom 720 I think and uh, I can no longer get updates for it so I'm pretty well looking at getting a newer GPS now I've been using this for 10 years and it's certainly done well but it um, uh, I'd, I'd like something a little bit easier to read and probably something a little bit more waterproof this thing does take a little bit of rain okay but I did have two days on the road where about uh, two-thirds of the way through the trip that day the uh, it just died and it died simply because it had gotten enough moisture in it and luckily both times it dried out overnight um, but yeah no I should have trusted it more it's just uh, instinct wise it just sometimes a few of those turns did not feel right to me and one thing I've got to admit there is just so much road uh, not used to that in Canada. Of course, here in Newfoundland, it's it's basically there's one road going everywhere. You're either going down that road or coming back that road. A lot of it is not divided. Even on the mainland in Canada, you don't get as much highway as this uh, until some parts in Toronto or Montreal where you're close to the cities. So, I found myself second-guessing a lot of times and that, that partially was because I really wasn't, uh, um, I hadn't done enough research and, and gotten some maps out. I think next year for the major trip I'm taking, I'll definitely be carrying a good set of maps for North America. And I will at least take a look at each day the day before. Well, you certainly can tell you're going uphill when you're passing trucks and then downhill when you pass a, uh, a runaway truck. Uh, place but other than that everything looks a lot um, a little bit too flat on the on the bike with the uh, the uh, action cams they have a tendency to flatten things out a wee bit now you may have noticed I'm not being a slouch in passing things no I found that um, pulling the mini mate it really didn't make much difference in my top speed I was still traveling at 130 or uh, 80 miles an hour for a good portion of the uh, the interstates. Uh, maybe this is a little faster than I should with the trailer, but it was it's just it was too easy. And uh, the only thing I, I of course did notice is my gas mileage drops down by about 10 percent uh, with the trailer and going at those speeds. So I think this is one of our last major turnoffs, and uh, and I can't understand it. I'm coming off this one major uh, interstate, and then I seem to be basically doing a 90 degree turn. And then I barely get on the highway before I'm going to end up going down on another interstate which seems to be parallel to the first one. Now I know this isn't true but this is what it felt like 
for me going through some of these uh, these areas just so much traffic and so many highways I think in in one state alone there's enough pavement to cover the whole province of of Newfoundland the camera is doing its very best to uh, automatically adjust for the fading light but you can see by the headlights that uh, we're, we're definitely starting to get into a, a, a dusk situation and of course this time of the year towards the end of Oct middle end of October the night starts coming on a little quicker and of course here I am about 45 minutes to an hour away from my destination and we start getting some really really big slowdowns uh, this is about the second time on the way down that I ran into some major construction and and spent a fair bit of time in traffic happened on the way back as well so I'm sort of uh, counting my time to uh, get to where I'm going and uh, hoping that uh, I actually will get there before it becomes dark of course uh, that didn't really happen it started getting darker and darker now uh, the other thing of course that happened to me is the the uh, Lake uh, Junaluska campgrounds are not at the convention center and because I arrived after normal hours it was about uh, 8 o'clock at night when I arrived uh, I actually spent an extra half an hour running around the area before I finally saw the sign to the the campground itself so a little bit of time running in the dark and then uh, uh, batteries dying and I set up in the dark for the second time on this trip but I did put everything up put the awning on and the outer room and actually had a quite comfortable night so here I am at uh, Lake June Alaska campground and uh, I've taken a really slow morning I needed to get cleaned up, transfer video, seem to be having some trouble with one of the hard drives which is not making me happy, uh, but uh, we're just about to now head out to do a quick uh, little run, we'll hit Walmart, we'll find Moon Creek uh, Campground so I know where the other guys are, and uh, then we're going to go off to Deals Gap and uh, take a shot at the, at the Dragon. It'll be a slow shot, I'm sure. This is the Tree of Shame at Deals Gap. Parts from motorcycles that have been wrecked along the Dragon over the years. We're going to try not to add to those. That's next time. Thanks for watching.